Today I'm going to show you how to use JBridge to get your 32-bit plugins back in a 64-bit environment. If we open up an Ableton session, you can really do this in any DAW. JBridge is essentially just creating a wrapper for your 32-bit plugins to become 64. We'll go down here to plugins. I'm going to use Foxango Recorder 32-bit to demonstrate this. Um, as you can see, it's not in my plugin folder here in Ableton. What I'm going to do is open up this program called JBridge. It's going to ask you if you're using a 32 or 64 bit host. We're using 64. The only thing you need to click here is create bridging files inside a directory I'll specify. So we'll go down and pick our 32 bit plugin as you can see via the instructions here. Use this Foxango recorder. Just click the DLL file. And next it's going to create or ask you where the bridge folder is. That's where the wrapper will output to. Go ahead and click that. And as you can see, one file was successfully bridged. So now you want to go into your bridge folder, which will be in your 64-bit program files, um, and copy the text and DLL file that's been wrapped. Then you can go where you store your plugins and create a new folder for the plugin you've just bridged. Go ahead and paste that in there. It's going to ask for administrator permissions. Once that's done, you can open your DAW back up. It's still not in there. You're going to have to rescan your plugins. And boom, pops right up. There you have it. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you got something out of that content, please consider subscribing, liking, or sharing. You can find more of my music or book a session with me at UpsideOfficial.com.